Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of generating an invoice in Tally Prime for sales under Section 7 of IGST Act. When you are a transport service provider, you need to provide the details of IGST in the sales invoice despite the interstate sales. Then you can override the tax details and generate an e-invoice. Let's see how to do it. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher. And press F8 for sales. Press Ctrl plus H and select accounting invoice. Select the party. Press F12 and modify GST and HSN slash SAT related details to yes. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. Under Particulars, select the Transport Service Ledger and enter the amount. The GST rate and related details screen appears. Press F12 and set Show Nature of Transaction to Yes. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. Under GST Rate Details, select Specify Details here. Under Nature of Transaction, select Interstate Sales, Taxable. Press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. Now, select the IGST ledger. The tax amount gets calculated. Now, set provide GST or e-invoice details as yes. In the additional details, interstate sales, taxable screen, enable supplies under section 7 of IGST Act and press Ctrl plus A to save. In the e-invoice details screen, you can see that the bill to and ship to places are located in the same state. Press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. Enter other necessary details. Now, press enter on the amount and press O to override and accept without conflicts. Now that we have recorded the invoice, let's generate an e-invoice. Press Alt plus Z. Send for e-invoicing and press enter. Select the voucher using spacebar. Press S and then press Y. Enter your e-invoicing credentials. There you go, the e-invoice gets generated. As you saw, in Tally Prime, you can easily generate an e-invoice for sales under Section 7 of IGST Act. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.